Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, colleagues. First of all, allow me to thank the rapporteur. Um, and I want to say at this point in time that I'm very happy, both as standing rapporteur for research in the committee, but also on behalf of our group that we were finally able to re reach a, a result which enabled us to finance ITER for a while uh, longer. For us, uh, the whole process around the financing of ITER was quite difficult. Uh, it proved, first of all, that the Council was not living up to all its obligations and, and uh, even less to its political promises of actually putting emphasis on research. And at the same time, we, we saw a development where the Council wanted to actually cut money from Heading 1A, a heading where the current framework program for research is very well implemented, more or less 100 percent implemented. It's uh, supporting more than anything the 2020 strategy, etc. And there was, as you know, an idea to take the money for ITER from this part of the budget. We said no, and we were persistent, and we were very united as a parliament, and the budget committee was very firm on this. And the outcome, therefore, is in the light of all of that fairly good. But at the same time, I do want to underline that this is not, at least from our group's point of view, an ideal outcome. But taking into account the discussion, I guess we couldn't achieve anything better. For the future, uh, it's easy to agree with previous speakers. ITER is an important project. It has huge potential. At the same time, I I think that the year that has passed has shown that, that we need to uh, have a better view on how ITER is governed because we shouldn't end up in situations where, where a big project uh, that affects taxpayers' money and also affects other research funds, as we have seen with the solution, is so badly managed that we have to take solutions like this uh, to, to save the project. This is not g well handled. And therefore, this also proves uh, that in the next MFF, we have to have a more solid, more ring-fenced solution, solution for financing ITER in order for us to not be here in five years or three years doing the same thing we're doing tonight, uh, having a report to transfer funds for the ITER project. Another worrying factor in this context that I might mention is the fact that the Council was slipping on this. We were able to reach a final agreement and after that apparently some uh, delegations in the Council were still wanting to, to go back on the agreement. This is not a, a healthy development. I'm happy that they understood that this was not a desirable outcome and in the end now apparently the Council will stick to this uh, agreement as will we. Uh, I hope we can learn from this also because um, Horizon 2020 which will be the aid framework program needs all the money it can get. This will bring growth to Europe and therefore we should not have solutions in the future that uh, practically speaking means that we have less money for certain research projects because others are badly governed. But I want to thank the rapporteur and other colleagues for good cooperation. The outcome in this question is very uh, good considering the circumstances. Thank you.